Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm not going to talk about our system, the Vader. I'm going to talk about some functionality of such software as Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice Calc. The reason I'm going to talk about this functionality is that it comes in very handy when you're working, for example, with the output of Vader's export feature. But it's general functionality, so stay tuned even if you don't have a Vader in your lab yet. For this demo, I'm going to use my LibreOffice Calc, but the same functionality is present in Microsoft Excel, and it works almost exactly the same there. So what I'm going to do today is show you the lookup function in spreadsheet software, and I'm going to use Vader export data to illustrate. So suppose you have two sets of data in a spreadsheet, and they're talking about basically the same things. So in our example here, we have two sheets, conditions and stack image scorings. And the stack image scorings table has a measurement ID, a well column, a well row, and some output of a morphological analysis. And the conditions table also has measurement ID, well column, well row, uh, and some metadata about the things that were measured. Note that there is only one row per measurement ID, well column, and well row in the conditions table, but multiple rows for each combination in the scorings table. Now, what do you do if you want to correlate the mean score in the scorings table with the treatment in the conditions table? Conceptually, what you want to do is look up for each row in the scorings table, the corresponding row in the conditions table, and then copy the value for treatment. But to do that by hand is just not feasible. This table has 8,965 rows. What gives? Lookup does. More specifically, the VLOOKUP function in both Excel and Calc looks for a value in one column and returns a, a value from a different column in the same row. Of course, that's almost what we want, because in this case, we have three values that we want to look up. But that's not a problem, because there is a useful concatenate function in both Excel and Calc. We're going to use concatenate to construct one key in one column that can be looked up. So the first thing we do is insert another column. And then we're going to enter a formula to concatenate the columns that make up our key. So this and a separator and this and a separator and this make up our key. Increase the size of this so we can see it and copy and fill down. And there we have it. Do the same things for the condition table. And there we have something that we can look up in one column between the two column uh, between the two sheets. Now there's one minor difference between LibreOffice Calc and Microsoft Excel that I found. Uh, apparently, at least the online version of Microsoft Excel requires the keys in the lookup table to be sorted. So that's what we're going to do next. To sort all rows by the lookup key, we're going to highlight the entire uh, the entire table minus the uh, headers and click on data sort uh, by what's that column D. So with that, we're finally in the position to implement the lookup that I've been talking about. To do that, we navigate to a fresh cell in the sheet that we want to copy stuff into and enter another formula. The function we're using is unsurprisingly the lookup, and the arguments it takes are the thing to look up, so uh, the key that we just created, the um, array to take both keys and data from, so everything between column D and column F at least in this example, and the index inside this area of the column from which to copy data. So this would be, in this case, three. 
Now, we have to do, in order to, to fill this down here, we have to uh, fix the uh, indices here because we always want to copy from the same range, obviously. So we enter uh, a, a dollar sign in front of the D, the 2, the F, and the 121. So all the coordinates in the array from which to copy data. And then we copy, we mark the entire column down to the last row, and we fill in, and there we have it. The lookup is implemented, uh, the right data is copied from the conditions table into the scoring table. I hope all of that made sense to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send an email to johannes.bauer.vader.de.